Hi everyone, this is Alex Tardy, meteorologist with National Weather Service. We're going to update you with the latest information before the storm arrives in Southern California. We're going to talk about the heavy rain with an atmospheric river and the mountain snow. Here's the latest satellite view as of Thursday afternoon. The atmospheric river is stretched across Point Conception and moving northward towards Yosemite. The precipitation has been heavy along that band of precipitation. So are we caught up here in Southern California before this storm? The short answer is no, not even close. We're still 35 to 60% of average precipitation, even in Southern and Central California. Here's some specific numbers for our region. You can see San Diego is much less than 50% of average, but all locations are in the similar range between 35 and 60% of average to date. So the rainfall expected for Thursday night and Friday will be very beneficial, get us significantly closer to the average to date. Here are the highlights. We are expecting wind. Wind will increase in the San Bernardino Mountains Thursday evening. Winds will also increase along the immediate coast of Orange and San Diego. Gusts 30 to 40 miles per hour along the coast. Gusts over 60 in some of the ridge tops and desert side of the San Bernardino Mountains. Now for precipitation, when will it begin? It looks like between nine and midnight for Orange County. And then just a little bit later, 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. for Western San Diego County and Southwest San Bernardino and Western Riverside counties. The main band of rainfall is expected 10 p.m. to 3 a.m. But we do see another shot of widespread rain between 4 a.m. and 9 a.m. before tapering off. And then we see more showers throughout Friday afternoon again. Snow levels will start around 6,000 feet, slightly above in some areas, but we still are a little bit concerned about the significant snowpack that is down around 5,000 feet for increasing some of the runoff. Snow levels will lower, however, down to 5,000 feet by early Friday morning sunrise, and even as low as 4,000 feet during the day on Friday when we have the additional showers that come through Friday afternoon. Now, rainfall rates, pay attention to this, are expected to be quite heavy, about a quarter to half inch for all areas along the main rain band timed for tonight and early Friday, basically 10 p.m. to just before 9 a.m. The heavy rainfall rates will be with that frontal band. We could even see some higher rainfall rates briefly. The total precipitation, all areas, except for the deserts, numbers will be about 50% of this, all areas one to two inches of rain, locally around three inches. Now, this will have some impact to our rivers as well. The San Diego River is forecast to go above eight feet and may get as high as 9.5 feet with that heavy rain that occurs late Thursday night and early Friday morning. That rain, this is what we're talking about, widespread, one to two inches. In fact, most places will see an inch and a half even in the major cities. Now, the slopes of the mountains will catch more of that rain where we'll see widespread two to three inches along those slopes. And spillover will occur in the deserts, but it looks like more in the quarter to half inch range. Some of the heavier rain may make it up into the Cajon Pass of the high desert. The winds, the winds will increase, especially this evening. Strongest winds expected up around the San Bernardino Mountains from Wrightwood to Big Bear, but also spilling over into Hesperia and Lucerne Valley. Notice those wind gusts up near 50 miles per hour. Now look along the coastal areas. We're also expecting some wind to come in Thursday evening. What kind of snowfall are we looking at? Well, remember, snow levels will be generally starting around 6,000 feet, so that's the mountain communities, and then it'll lower rather quickly before sunrise Friday morning. We are expecting significant snowfall up to near a foot in some of our higher mountain communities near 7,000 feet 
And even in some of our communities that are down near 5,500 feet, several inches, three to six inches of new snow. What's causing all this rain? We are continuing to track an atmospheric river. It'll move in late Thursday evening and be right over us early Friday morning, as shown here. These images are showing the main atmospheric river in the brighter yellow and orange, targeting Orange County first around 10, 11 p.m., and then being right on top of San Diego County and the heart of Riverside and San Bernardino County by 4 to 6 a.m. on Friday morning. We are looking at the rain coming in like this. It looks like it'll be heavy as well when it comes in abruptly, probably reaching 10 to 11 p.m. into Orange County, all of Orange County, then shifting further into Northern and Southern San Diego County just after midnight, as well as spreading into the heart of Western Riverside and Southwest San Bernardino. So it looks like a very solid area of rain. And once it moves in, it'll become heavy at times. Now the rain doesn't end after midnight. It looks like by two in the morning, the main atmospheric river has reached into the mountains of Riverside and San Diego. But behind it, right around sunrise, we see another area of rain, not as heavy, but it is widespread, moving into the coast and filling in behind this atmospheric river. So the bottom line is widespread rain continues even early in the morning, right around sunrise on Friday. Now, is it over with? We'll see a break, more or less, for a couple hours Friday morning, but more rain with the final part of the storm system, the coldest part of the storm system, comes in Friday afternoon as shown here. And it does look like the rain will be quite heavy in heavier showers. And this is when our snow levels are down between 4,000 and 4,500 feet, so keep that in mind. And the rain does look widespread before it ends by sunset on Friday. Here are some of the details. Take a look at this for your region. Bottom line is late Thursday evening after 10 p.m. moving into Orange County. Snow level starting at 6,000, dropping to 5,000 by sunrise Friday morning. Significant rainfall and high rain rates along this main frontal band. It'll affect all areas, especially coastal areas and inland valleys. All areas will receive one to two inches of rain less spillover in the deserts, of course. We are gonna see wind gusts too, especially Thursday evening, strong gusts in the San Bernardino Mountains and moderate gusts along the Orange and San Diego coastal areas. So for burn scar areas, we are concerned because of the rainfall rates getting up to around a half inch per hour during the overnight hours between 10 p.m. and about 4 a.m. in the morning on Friday. These are the main highlights. It is an atmospheric river, but we will be dealing with snow in our mountains and significant snow in some of the mountain communities, those above 6,000 feet, and even a few inches down to 5,000 feet. Now that snow level will drop after midnight, especially early Friday morning. The main rain is late Thursday evening through Friday morning, 10 p.m. to about 8 a.m. Friday. Heavy snowfall in the mountains along with that, and of course those high winds Thursday night in the San Bernardino Mountains, and even high winds gusting to 30 miles per hour along the coast, perhaps even as much as 40 miles per hour as that heavy rain band moves in late Thursday evening. It is significant rainfall, beneficial overall, but too much of it at once. So we're going to see urban flooding and some minor river flooding and even the potential for rock and debris flows, debris flows would pertain to recent burn scars. So if you live near a burn scar area, definitely check with your local officials if there's any evacuation warnings or orders that are in place. A handful of warnings and advisories are on our webpage, weather.gov. Any short-term warning, such as a flash flood warning, would be posted on weather.gov immediately and flash flood warnings will also go on wireless emergency alerts and 
the emergency alert system that is on TV and radio. You can also follow some of these events on our Facebook and Twitter page. Stay safe, everyone.